Hello, welcome back to my channel, Meg here. I'm so excited today to be chatting about five rituals that I've really embraced to create more freedom in my photography business. I know for me, I personally run both of my businesses, photography and coaching creatives like you in about 24 to maybe 26 hours total for the week. And so I wanna talk about how I'm able to do that today in this video with you. Freedom is a topic I'm super passionate as a mom of two kids and a six figure business owner. It is so important that you start to really embrace some rituals to support you. And what I found is these rituals, routines and habits you're going to create in your own business are going to create more freedom for you. I know like as a rebel myself, I used to be very against routines and I thought it was taking my freedom away if I had a schedule and a calendar and time blocking and a project management tool, but it actually has created way more space because I'm getting things done with more ease. I'm focusing on the right things that are moving the needle forward in my business and generating more income and attracting more clients. And that's what we want, right? We want to work smarter, not harder. When we start to put time and energy into being more intentional with our time, we actually end up working less. And I know that's why you're here, so let's dive in. Okay, the first ritual I have is my CEO hour. And this is something I do weekly. I usually do it on Monday mornings or sometimes Sunday night if I just like am excited to start the week and I wanna get everything out of my head so I can relax on Sunday. Sometimes I'll do it then. But what I do are three things during this hour. The first thing I do is a reflection on my past week. You know, what really went well? What could have been better? What, did, what am I celebrating? What did I accomplish? Even if it's the smallest win, it's very important to be celebrating. What are you proud of yourself for? Are there any big lessons that, you know, you took away from last week. I find that taking even 10 minutes to reflect each week on what you did the week before is how we get really intentional and how we actually have more clarity of what we need to focus on moving forward in our business and what really is important. And the other thing I do during this hour is I task dump, brain dump everything I need to do for the week in my Trello. I also have like manage my team in that board so we are sharing some tasks. And I try to put all the important tasks on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and I put no more than one to three main important tasks, and these are revenue generating tasks, each day. And that's really important that you're really prioritizing the right things because we all know those days where we can be working, working, working in our inbox, answering emails, texting people back. And at the end of the day, like we didn't actually accomplish something that's going to grow our business. And so that's why it's important to map this out at the beginning of every single week. And it really actually relieves a lot of stress and anxiety because you know exactly you know what you're focusing on each day. And then the last thing I do is I take those really important tasks and I put it in my Google Calendar. And I'm gonna share with you my special way I like to time block in my Google Calendar. I like to organize it by color and it's really helped me stay more focused and prioritize things that matter. I'm gonna share that with you in another video soon. So stay tuned for that. I essentially like put it in a time block and so I know exactly when I'm going to be able to work on that thing and of course I'm thinking like well when is the house quiet when I can actually record a video that's Tuesdays when my kids are out of the house at their nanny so it's like I'm thinking ahead and planning ahead so I don't just I'm not just like going with the flow every day <laughs> when I show up for work the number two ritual I have is prioritizing revenue producing activities or tasks. <laughs> and what this looks like are things that are actually going to make you more money in your business because we cannot be a business and serve clients and do what we love and have freedom if we're not making money. So this is why these things come first before anything else you do when you start your work day. And some of these activities for me include like sales calls or marketing things like filming this video, content creation. 
um, sending email newsletters to my clients with special promotions, launching, anything with my money, like working on money mindset or money management or getting something to my accountant that she needs. Um, anything like invoicing to collect your payments, that's very important. For me, now that I've grown my team and I have a lot of people who support me in my business, I like to prioritize getting back to my team early in the morning each day and checking in with them because my team is helping me move projects along. My team is helping me market and grow my business. And so it's really important as a leader that you're showing up for your team and really supporting them. Things that are not revenue generating tasks that should not be prioritized first in your day is like being on social media, answering DMs, except if you're like in a launch and it's like, someone who wants to buy a program or like a photo shoot, that's fine. But if it's anyone else, like just regular engagement with your community, you can do that later. <laughs> and so you don't want to get trapped in that, you know, checking emails. I don't check emails first thing in the morning. I try not to anyways, I'm not perfect, but other things like any kind of like organizing in your business or behind the scenes, like little tasks that inevitably pop up in business. Like those are not the priority. If this just sounds kind of like blah, and boring and not sexy, I want you to shift your mindset around that because getting more things done in your business and more impactful things that make more money and in less time, like it honestly is sexy because then we free up so much space, so much time to actually have freedom. And it's when we're doing the wrong things and we're spending too much time doing the wrong things that we don't actually like increase our revenue. We are not actually able to pay ourselves well and have money and resources to do what we love. Okay, the next way I really create more freedom in my business is the ritual of investing in myself as the CEO. And this could look like eating healthy food, um, going to the gym to work out, taking time to invest in your own self care and your own health and well being. But for me, it also looks like investing in coaches, mastermind support. Sometimes that's like a one on one coach for me. Currently, I just joined last week, like a four week mini mastermind just to like get some momentum going into the last couple months of the year. I just love being in communities like this because it really helps me accountable to taking action and following through with things that normally I might put off, procrastinate on. I can't tell you how many courses and like bundles I've signed up for and I've never actually like gone through all the lessons and done the product and implemented. But when I'm in a like coaching container, I see shifts, I see results. I move faster than if I was doing it on my own. So that's why I really love it. That's why I am a coach myself for photographers like you. And I have my Flourish Mastermind, which by the way, enrollment is open now. So if you're someone who's desiring more support, accountability, and you know that would help you get better results, I want to encourage you to apply for the Mastermind. The link is below in the caption and I can't wait to talk to you more about it. The next ritual is the ritual of raising your prices. This is something I think every business owner should just get very comfortable with doing over time. We all know that with more money, we have more resources. We have more freedom. I know for me, I got into business because I wanted to not work 40, 50, 60 hour weeks and I wanted to make an awesome living. Like I wanted no cap on how much money I could make for my time, which is what we can create as business owners. We get to scale our time. Why did you get into business? Like, why do you want more freedom? Is it to spend time with your own family or is it to maybe travel the world and you want to have more money to do that and enjoy this one life that we get to live? Why not you? And why not now? I love helping creatives and photographers make more money and feel super confident to raise their prices and continue booking clients clients at their new price. Pricing is very, very important. I talk about it all the time. I know you've heard me talk about it before, but because I've raised my prices over time and got really comfortable with that, I've gone from charging 200 a photo shoot to thousands of dollars for a photo shoot. And instead of doing over a hundred photo shoots a year in order to make six figures, I can now do about like 30 or 40 photo shoots a year and hit my goal. And so I'm working less, I'm having more freedom in my life, but I'm making a great living 
and my business provides that for me and it's all because I slowly raised my prices over time as my demand grew and so I was always booked up and you know one thing that I like to do is if I look ahead in my calendar and I'm like three months booked out and I'm still getting a lot of inquiries in and I'm almost having to like turn people away, that's a sign that it's time to raise your prices. So maybe you're there right now. Congratulations. If you've been pretty busy and booked and you're realizing like, man, if I was like, if I raise my price and serve less people, I'll have more energy, more freedom to serve them really, really well. That's why I'm so passionate about raising your prices and charging more than enough for your amazing work as a photographer. The last ritual I have for you is implementing firm but loving boundaries in your business, with your clients, with your time, with your pricing. This is so important. You know, I remember in the beginning of my business, there were several times where I just felt very overwhelmed because clients were like emailing me, texting me, I was getting DMs and they were communicating with me everywhere. And so now I pretty much plan the whole photo shoot over email with my clients and it feels really good to have that boundary. I don't have clients texting me on the weekend or all hours of the night. And I have other boundaries too, like with my email. I let people know, I communicate that I get back within 72 hours and thank you for your patience. And I've implemented boundaries like this and you know, boundaries with the editing timeline when my clients receive their photos. I've implemented these boundaries that really support me as the business owner and the creative and the person doing all the work behind the scenes. We have to protect our energy and we have to stay in our zone of genius. And what I found is by implementing these firm but very loving boundaries with clients, it's actually helped me be a better photographer. It's helped me show up for them better because I'm not burned out anymore. I have space in my schedule. I have time to, you know, really devote to each client and create an amazing experience for them. Another boundary I have is I don't work weekends. I don't work Wednesdays because that's my mom day unless I want to, you know, you know, sometimes I'm inspired to work a couple hours on those days. That's great. But in general, it's like, I'm, not available on the weekends for photo shoots because I like to spend that time with my family. And so I want you to start to really step into your power around boundaries and know that like, this is your business. You make the rules. You can do whatever you want. You can work wherever you want. You can work when you want, but you just have to start to set up these rituals we've been talking about today, set up firm, loving boundaries and set up systems in your business to support you having more freedom. If you want more support with this, if you loved this video and you know you need help with this, please apply for my Flourish Mastermind because these are things we talk about all the time inside the mastermind. I love supporting photographers like you in growing their business in a sustainable way. That's really important to me and I know it's important to you too if you're watching this video. So let me know what was your favorite tip in the comments below. You can also send me a DM. Let me know like, what was your takeaway? What are you going to implement first from this video that you know will help you grow your business and create more freedom at the same time. Have a great day.